I'm Dr. Carol Hong from Family Vision Care and Vision Therapy in San Carlos, California. Um, I'd like you to meet one of my good friends today. His name is Travis. Um, he and his mom are here to share his story. Um, he came to us and he had an eye turn or a strabismus um, and a lazy eye. Uh, we focused on his training because he was extra motivated to work on his eye hand coordination, his peripheral awareness, um, and his ability to catch a ball. So let's hear what Travis and his mom have to say. Who referred you to the Optometric Center for Family Vision Care and Vision Therapy? I'm an eye doctor in San Mateo. Okay, had you heard about vision therapy before coming here? We really didn't know much about it, so we did our research. We wanted to make sure that we were able to get the best care for ourselves. And what symptoms were you experiencing before you started vision therapy? Uh, before I started vision therapy, when, uh, every time we were um, going to like the grocery store or something, I couldn't see a car when it was far away or up close. And what were you noticing in Travis before he started vision therapy? Uh, one thing, the big thing, my husband tried to play uh, ball with him and he couldn't catch the ball so he would throw it and his hands would be there before the ball was even close to him. Um, going downstairs, we had to hold his hands. He was scared to go downstairs. Um, not being able to see 3D movies because it was so blurry for him. Um, we just would walk out of the movie because he couldn't see. And what changes have you noticed since you started vision therapy? Um, I've noticed that I've been to a couple 3D movies recently. And they've been uh, clear. I can uh, see them more now. And um, a couple of days ago, my dad did a catch with me. And I actually started seeing the ball. What other changes have you noticed, Mom? Uh, definitely going downstairs. He can actually run down the stairs now without us holding his hand. Um, when he was talking about running across the street, his peripheral vision wasn't working, so that's why he was going across because he couldn't see anything. And now he pays attention and is able to see that to be able to go across the street. That's amazing. Would you guys recommend vision therapy? Definitely, I would. I mean, just in the short period of time that we've seen I mean, it's important for him to be able to use his eyes driving, you know, everything else. So it's pretty exciting to see all the improvements he has in just a short period of time. What do you think? Would you recommend it? Yes, I do. Travis, you're going to need your hands free because you're going to be moving your board the direction that you see the light splash, okay? okay. I want you to try to get as many as you can. Okay. Ready? Go. Shake those hips, man. Use <laughs> your dancing skills. Travis is going to be using the VTS4 using the road race, which is going to work on his eye tuning and depth perception. Travis, you're going to be seeing four circles. You're going to use this part of the joint pad to move your car left and right. And once it's underneath the car or the circle that's um, floating closer, you're going to hit the letter A. Whenever you're ready, though. Travis is going to be working on the SVI using the proactive um, the eye hand activity where he's going to be using his peripheral awareness to pop the dots. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to pop the letter in the center if it flashes, okay? Nice job. How's that left hand going? Don't forget to blink, okay, Travis? 